Medieval Cup came out while I was not paying attention. This is Season 2, Episode 6. Eh? Your wife's firstborn? Yes. The guy just showed up during her birthday party and Ada told me the truth. Frankly, it was very shocking. Are you sure? He doesn't look that old. How can she have a son in his 30s? My wife, Ada. She's the creator of this universe. So she's, so she's actually older than the universe itself. Okay. I mean, I knew she was in love with our senior who broke her heart and tried to take over her universe, but I never thought they had a kid together. Not to mention, the kid turned out to be the literal devil and also my fe- Wait. Are you sure this is not inappropriate? Oh, why do you ask? Well, I mean, it's you. You are the first firstborn of Ada, Lucifer Morningstar. I am indeed Lucifer Morningstar. You can call me Lucy if you like. Yeah, no. I mean, I meant that isn't there a conflict of interest or something since you're also involved? To be honest, it is. But I tried to transfer you to a different therapist, but they all threatened to kill themselves if I did. Cowards. You beat a couple of therapists and you become branded for life. Yeah, they spoke of it. Why did you beat them up, anyway? They tried to brainwash me. They kept telling me that the fear of post office was just in my own. was just in my mind. That will do it. By the way, I've been to hell and there's already a Lucifer there. What's up with that? I don't know. Never been to hell yet. I'm guessing the Demon King started calling himself that after conquering hell or something. I see. But enough about me. So how did you feel when you found out I was Mother's firstborn? It still seems about you, so... Frankly, it's hard to visualize you as Ada's child when you look older than her. Oh, I can take care of that if it is bothering you so much. You gonna kill yourself? No. How about now? What the? Do I look like Ada's kid now? Well, I'm also half void, so I resemble them both. So, is this your true self? A kid that hasn't grown up yet? Talk about parental issues. I mean, my kids are messed up too, but at least they're grown up about it, despite it being way younger than you. Hey, who's the therapist here? We're here for your issues, not mine. Well, seeing that you are my issue, I say we do talk about you. Why have you been hiding for so many aeons? Oh, I haven't been hiding. I don't know when, but I lost my memories, and was cast in the cycle of reincarnations. <clears throat> so, you've been living like a human all this time until now. It was thanks to the deal with Beelzebub and Draziel that Father was able to get his foothold back in this universe and awaken me. I see. Wait, Void contacted you? Does your mom know? I don't think she would like that. Eh, you know how couples are, Dreg. They fight, they separate and make a mistake in the heat of the moment. Am I the mistake in this scenario? Yes, you're the ugly mistake mom made when she is angry at my dad. You're a cop, right? You've seen it all. You're just her rebound. Soon she'll realize her mistake and leave you. I don't think it's that easy since metaphorically, since he's not allowed 200 feet near this universe. Court order. Which I plan to dissolve. I'll bring my father back, Dreg. And when he's back... Mom will feel a renewed appreciation for him and you will be kicked to the curb. No wonder you're still a kid. Only kids can make up fantasies like this and expect it to succeed. Whatever happens, only time will tell. Let's meet again when father comes back, Dreg. I'll let you know the appointment date soon. Great. Another therapist turned against me. How was I supposed to know that I was dating his mom? <sighs> My life is turning from a drunk detective story to a drunk soap opera. The writer of my life is probably suicidal himself. Come down, home, I know I need you here and I just might lie anyway, as usual, link will be in the description. 
can't see clear Think I'm lost inside and the end is near It's just not fair It's just not fair It's just not fair All oh, right, have to press the button. A night to remember. Aha! I knew the killer was the chef all along. I knew it. The chef was the only one with access to the knives, after all. Ugh, why is it raining? It's not even the season for it. Oh, Miss Seal, you're going to be you're going home late today. Any problems? Ah, it's you. What are you doing out here in the rain? Is there a homeless shelter nearby you can stay tonight? I planned on going after finishing this book. I just found out that the killer is the chef. Eh? Uh, this is a recipe cookbook. I know. The chef killed all those plants and animals to make food. He is the killer. Right. Anyways, I need to be going now. As late as it is. Okay, miss. Take care on the way home. It's almost midnight and there are a lot of weirdos and thieves out there. It says the guy reading a cookbook is a crime novel. Thanks for the warning. I'll take care. Man, this killer chef is relentless. First he killed those cabbages and now that psycho is slicing tomatoes into little pieces. The rain droplets are covering my glasses too much to see where I'm going. Where's my napkin? Let's see. Don't look back. Uh -uh. Drop your purse and empty your pockets quietly without turning back if you know what's good for you. Uh -uh. Okay, just don't hurt me. As long as you follow my instructions, no one will get hurt. I don't feel like reading this anymore. The things he does to the chicken after killing it is mortifying. Yeah, but help me. Eh? That sounded like it. Quit trolling, you bitch. Didn't I eludicate you to stay quiet? Miss Seal's in trouble. Hold on, I'm coming to save you. <laughs> hey, let go of... Eh? I... M miss Ah, he, he was... I, I... He was robbing me, and then... And then... This knife... This knife... Ah! What have I done? Hey, you okay? He's dead. Oh god, no. I just... He said he wanted more from me than money, and I, I panicked and... And... No! Well, wait... Should I call the cops or bail out? I decided to bail out after calling the cops. What makes you think we'll let you leave? Grats. Foiled again. This is the first time we met. You have a little cave-in in your head, didn't you? <sighs> How'd you know? That's why my mother named me Brick after it fell on my head as a kid. Going by that theme, I should have been named De Depression. Sploosh! The knife went in. Blah! The criminal cried out. Blood and guts everywhere. Uh, Officer Amber, did you retake the psych evaluation I told you to take? Not yet. Why? It seems you're getting a bit too emotionally detached to yourself. It's kind of creepy to see you so, so cheerful near a dead body. Nah, she's just becoming like a mother. Every daughter eventually does. Really? Then again, you are a carbon copy of your dad. With a little sprinkling of suicidal on top. True. I mean, I look more dead than the dead guy here. What'd you find? The victim was a lowlife called Remy. No registered last name. Guy was a serial mugger with many prior robberies. Nothing beyond what it looks like, though. A stab wound between the ribs, through the heart. Critical hit. Damage multiplied by 100 times. He probably died within a minute seeing how deep the wound is. That's what you get for assaulting a maiden. And has anyone found the maiden in question? A young woman in her 20s with blue hair named Seal who also wears glasses. 
We're still looking for her. Brick. I already told you everything I know about Miss Steele. She would come by this route on weekdays and gives me a penny each time. She didn't tell you anything else about herself? Her address? Where she worked? No. I'm pretty sure that anyone with common sense would not tell these things to a beggar on the street. Good point. If she took this route every weekday, it's possible that she worked around here. She worked around here somewhere, since she would take this route every weekday evening. Weekend was a holiday, which means we are looking for a shop or office that is closed during the weekend. This is the shopping district. Very few of them only close during the weekend. I'll ask around with the mental case. I'm not a mental case. I'm just a bit weird. Weird was two stations ago for you. You two go along while Dreg and I search this place. Maybe she dropped something. Great. What should I do? You can start by taking a bath. The stench is giving me a headache, not the hangover kind. Very well. I will return to my house after I bathe. Fair warning, it is a mess as I was not expecting guests. Checkpoint reached. Alright. Remy, a serial mugger, was stabbed accidentally by a woman named Seal in a struggle while she was being robbed. Beggar Brick Wintis witnessed the incident. Well, that's certainly a new sprite. Hmm. There are lacerations all over his arms. There is also some blood under his fingernails. Which means there was indeed a struggle and... Well, I mean, both got hurt eventually. Because she got hurt from the fingernails. Fine. Okay. Blood under his fingernails means he also scratched the woman. I hope she got medical help soon after to avoid infection. Ah, the murder weapon. Classic knife. Well, there's dried blood on it. Looks sharp and brand new. Was it brought, bought recently? Hmm? There's something embossed on the knife. Number seven? What does it mean? Well, it's probably checked by inspector number seven. Never mind. That was a monk episode. Part of, the, of a knife set. So where's the rest of them? Right, and that uh, was from the clothes. Wow, that's a pothole. To this guy. The more people fought back like this woman, we get out of business. Then I can pursue my true dream of raising the post offices to the ground. I take that back. The cops will be busy catching a certain arsonist. Ugh, Holly. I'd rather not talk with him unless it's about the case. At least mumble about it quietly instead of saying it right to my face. find anything interesting while staring at the brick wall? I was contemplating something. About how our lifespans are not even a speck of dust in the vast timeline of the universe and we're all worthless. No. Well, now I am, thanks to you. But it was about something else. Come with me. What am I looking for? Look under the covers. Inside his boots. Okay. Well, all I'm seeing is his stinky feet and a... Wait. Knife? Another one? Criminals like him keep it in their boots for secrecy and quickly taking it out when in a fight. Wait, he had two knives? So why didn't he stab her? Why didn't he take it out? Okay. Why didn't he take it out when the lady snaps his weapon? My guess is that there wasn't enough time. She must have stabbed him as soon as she got her hands on the knife. Uh, either way, we won't know the whole story without actually talking to Miss Seal. Hope they find her. I have returned after taking a dip in the local well. Don't drink from it though. Apparently many people get sick every day. Good. 
Now, only if we had a topic to speak about. Tell me what you told Polly about what you witnessed. Well, it was raining last night when Miss Steele came through here. We exchanged pleasantries before she moved on. Soon after, I heard her scream. Kya, help me. My ears. They are forsaken me now. You can explain without having to voice the people involved. Then I heard the guy saying, Quit struggling, you bitch. Didn't I eludicate you to stay quiet? Elu- What now? I don't know what that means either, but maybe I misheard him as it was raining loudly. Hmm. Eludicate you to sat quiet. From context, I guess it can mean clarify. Told. Where's the- Guessing it meant clarifying or make clear, as in, didn't I make it clear that you should keep quiet? Oh, you're a genius. I never, w I would never have guessed that in a week. Pretty realistic time for guessing. I didn't know our mug here was this educated. Fa frankly speaking, many beggars and criminals around here are educated people without no jobs. It is a sad reality. Quite so. Is this a knife that was used to stab the mugger? I can't say since I didn't actually witness the stabbing, but it was definitely in Miss Seal's hands when I reached up there. Uh-huh. Now what were you doing when you first heard the scream? I was reading this horrifying book where a person does godforsaken things to his victims after killing them. What? This is a cookbook. You were reading recipes? The chef is a killer! He should be in hell! Well, I do know a chef that is in hell. Makes good cakes. I had one for my wife's birthday. But that's not related. You were reading the recipes? Yes. When Miss Seal passed by here, I was reading about those poor tomatoes being liquefied. Let's see. Liquefied tomatoes. Ah, here it is. Tomato soup. Recipe number nine. When I heard the scream. I was reading about the chicken that was being coated in the yolk of our unborn children. Hmm. Chicken with eggs. Ah, here it is. Recipe number... 15? Wait, recipe 9 to 15? Did you skip recipes while reading? No, sir. I read each and every one of them. That doesn't make sense. Each recipe is at least two minutes long. This clearly messes with the time range. Hey, read from recipe 15 to 21 right now. Eh? Uh, okay. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes. That's how long it took. I'm sorry that I'm a slow reader. I've been getting lessons at the shelter, but... No, don't you get it? She was up there for ten minutes before you heard the scream. What was she doing up there for that long? Ah, that's a good point. But I only heard the scream, probably because of the noise of the rain. Either way, it seems Miss Seal has some explaining to do. I think that's all I could find. I should meet up with Polly and see if he found anything. Mugger and victim were injured in the struggle as the mugger had lacerations and blood under his fingernails, implying that he scratched her. Remy was probably educated as he said, eludicate, during the struggle. The murder weapon is a brand new knife, which is also part of the set. It has number 7 embossed on it. The mugger had another knife in his shoe, but he didn't use it or got to use it because he was stabbed before that. There's an unexplained 10 minute gap between entering the alley and the mugging. What was she doing up there? I've already checked the body. Eh? Bank? Yes, Miss Seal works in the bank in the shopping market. Tira and Amber got her address and are on the way. Of course. Banks are closed on weekends. Send a message to both of them that they should bring the lady in for questioning. Eh? Why? I know she killed this guy, but it was manslaughter and it was in self-defense. But that's what- but is that what happened though? What? Polly, I have a feeling this isn't such a simple scene we are being led to believe. And what makes you say that? For starters, it's the fact that she was- 
for starters, is the fact that she is a chick. Blah, 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 blah. Dang it. That's what I get for mashing. She chose this route. What person, let alone a woman, will take such a route late at night on a rainy day? Hmm. You make a good point, but this is probably some sort of shortcut for her. We will know more once those two return. There's also something else that bothers me. The knife on the floor is part of a set, but the one in his boot is a different one. Why didn't he just take two from the set instead? Unless... The knife on the floor? It belongs to someone else. I think it belongs to our supposed victim of mugging. Now, wait a second. If his knife was in his boot and the knife on the floor belongs to Miss Seal, then... Who the hell is robbing who, then? There's also one more point that stands out. She entered the alley at least ten minutes before the scream was heard by the beggar. Wait, that means she was waiting here to rob him? She was the mugger? What makes you think this guy had money? She works at the bank, so money isn't an issue for her. Then, it wasn't about money. That's something else. If she was waiting for him specifically, then they knew each other at least. Or at least she knew him. Very well. I'll send a message to the girls to be extra careful and to search her house. Good. Meanwhile, we should check the dead guy's house as well. We may find something connected to our theory. Hmm. You go ahead. I'll wrap this up and join you later. Here's the address. You might find yourself earlier at the location if I stop by at a booze station. Take a deep breath, as if you're collecting all your bad vibes, and release it slowly along with your breath. Feel the bad vibes leaving your body, and the good vibes will automatically enter to fill in the vacuum. Except you, Nicole. Eh? Why? Your last check bounced. Everyone, pass all your negative vibes to Nicole. Yes. Baba Boo. No. What the? What's going on here? Why is there smoke without a fire? Oh, look, everyone. It seems one more lost soul wants to join our little group. Come here, friend. What? Okay. So, lost soul, what's your name? Greg, but I was... Everyone, let's give Brother Dreg a warm welcome. Hello, Dreg. Now, if you'll give the joining of these, we can begin removing that negative energy. Cash only. New policy, thanks to Nicole. Ah. Sorry, but the doctors told me that the negative energy is now rooted too deep and removing it will prove fatal. Whoa, I've never seen negative energy so dark. It's like, very negative. You might need the deluxe package. Cash only. Uh, I'm looking for Remy's house. Is this it? Oh man, why don't you say you came to meet him? Remy's my roomie. Wait a minute. He'll come back soon. Bummer. That'll be pretty terrifying if he comes home since he's dead. Eh? Remy's dead? Alright everyone. Negative energy seems to be too strong today. Let's take some rest and come back tomorrow, okay? Thank you, Baba Rogue. Except Nicole, of course. Ah, fine. I'll rate this place one star only. Because you don't know how to treat customers. Customers pay, Nicole. Your ratings mean nothing to me. Ten minutes later. <sighs> so Karma finally caught up to him. You knew about his mugging business. I tried to mend his ways, but he always shrugged me off. I estimate they will be reborn as a chicken thanks to his karma. Karma? You mean that stuff about how you live your current life dictates how you'll live your next? Yes, you'll be a chicken. Every day his eggs will be taken away like he robbed people, ultimately ending up dinner himself. Do you mind if I look around a bit? I don't have a warrant for it now, but... Bro, it's okay. Look around. Societal rules about owning land is bull anyway. You can't own Mother Earth, bro. Pretty sure even animals and insects are territorial, but thanks anyway. Alright, nothing in the plants. Door's locked. Maybe Rogue has the key. 
Door's locked. Ah, I do have to talk to the guy. Dang it. Hey, your doors are locked. Yeah, sorry. We started locking our bedroom doors after ripping fat one of my students going through his stuff. Here's the key to my room, but I don't have Remy's. He never trusted me with anything. Not even cooking. Cooking? He made food for both of you? Nah, I don't eat cooked food since it's unnatural. Return to your roots, bro. Remy usually ate out or ordered delivery. What a waste of a perfectly good kitchen. Yeah, but it doesn't even look like it was ever opened. It has indeed rusted and jammed shut. Wanna buy it? I'll put it in one month's package for free if you do. No, thanks. So Charmy's body did not have the key, and then he must have hidden it somewhere around here. I'll just have to keep an eye out. Kitchen sink. Could Charmy's key be in here? It wasn't. Great. You just wasted valuable time. Rusted shut oven. It's sealed tight due to rust. Chop vegetables on a kitchen counter. Alright, I'm just gonna not waste time until I actually have a clue. Rog's ledger of students and their payments. This might be related to a clue, but which one? Remy's really dead, huh? I honestly didn't expect it to happen anytime soon. What do you mean, anytime soon? I don't know how, but he seemed loaded recently. He paid all his rent, bought some new stuff, and was in a good mood, too. You didn't ask? More like I didn't want to know and be an accessory to whatever he was doing. So, I was surprised that he was mugging again. Maybe he ran out of that money, or maybe mugging was his blood. Or maybe. He was in that alley for a whole different reason. Since his weapon was sheathed and no goods were exchanged, that means he was waiting for someone. Miss Seal. Eh? Did she give him the money? Dunno. Either way, if we find the money's source, we might find the culprit too. Teapot and cup. Chopped vegetables. dragged around a bit seeing as there were scratch marks on the floor. Ah, here it is. Now I can enter Remy's room. Fancy glass. This might relate be related to a clue. I might need more information for this clue first. things that relate to the free money clue, but neither of them work. Maybe I have to actually talk to him. Feel free to ask me anything, brother. I'm an honest man with nothing to hide. Nothing. Really. Yes, I've been walked around naked once since I had nothing to be ashamed of, but you guys beat me off. Up. Beat you up. Fix your grammar before I take you to the vet and get you fixed for life. Alright, found the free money clue. I think I should look around for the knife before asking him for it. Hmm, the knives here, but they do not match the one used to kill Remy. Hey, this knife supposedly belonged to Remy. Ever seen him before? Eh? Nah, never seen him before. This knife looks like it's from a fancy set. Remy cared more about function than design. So, this isn't Remy's knife. It belonged to Miss Seal? That doesn't make sense. Why would she have a knife? Ooh, maybe it was for self-defense. 
Hurrah for women empowerment. But Remy's knife was in his boot, and the beggar said that Miss Seal claimed that she nabbed the knife from him in the struggle. Uh, that's exactly what my mind is going through right now. But one doubt is now surfacing. Maybe Miss Seal is acquainted with Remy. Remy had his knife in his boot, which means he wasn't aware of Miss Seal in a dark alley. That is only possible if they knew each other. Never met, met Miss Seal? Did she ever come by the house? Woman named Sue? No. I would have remembered too since Remy never ever had any visitors. Hmm. Maybe they met outside. Either way, I need to run a background check on both of them. Back around, sorry. Anti-glass. Ah, that's right. There we go. It must be one of the items Remy bought with that money. Hmm? What's this red thing on the glass's rim? Lipstick. Either Remy had some perfectly normal taste since this is a progressive society and we should not judge people. Or he had a woman in his life. Rog said that Remy didn't get any visitors. But had this woman meet Remy without being seen by Rog? Of course, she probably attends Rog's classes and sneaks out to meet Remy when no one's looking. Knowing Rog, he probably has no clue as to who it is. I'll need to find his list of students. This is the ledger with the names of Rog's students. Let's see if any name stands, stands out. Well, it's the first one I saw that had a Mrs. Whoops, dang it. is blue. You know that's a synonym for seal? Miss Seal is Remy's girlfriend? Wait, hold on. I need to confirm it. Miss Sky? I know that name. I can't remember her face. Let's see. She has blue hair and red glasses. Ah, yeah, yeah. Miss Sky. If I remember correctly, she also had a freckled face. Yes, that's the beggar for this too. So it was really Miss Seal. She really was Remy's girlfriend. Or girlfriend. Huh? But wait a second. So they were lovers. Then why did she kill him? Did he blackmail her? Is that where he got the money and she decided to... Miss Seal's bank was robbed a week ago by two masked men who had, who had held Miss Seal hostage during the entire robbery. What? Bank robber? Two men. Seal was a hostage? Phew. Delivered Officer Polly's message properly. I'm bad at remembering messages, so I had to repeat those words over and over. Hey, focus. Explain everything clearly. I, er, uh, it's gone. Wait a moment. I'll recollect everything that he said. God damn it. Ten minutes later. I already found the free money clue. Hey, explain properly, and I will hit you. Eh? Do you mean or? Yeah, my head. I know what I said. Now explain. I remember. I remember. The bank where Seal works at was wor was robbed one week week ago by two masked men. Two men? Explain in detail. Officer Polly was on his way here and remembered about the robbery. He went back to the bank. He went to the bank to get the details. Turns out when the bank was being robbed, they, 
held Miss Seal hostage and made her guide them to the lockers. So Seal was a hostage and then suddenly her boyfriend, Remy, gets rich? It sounds suspicious. Eh? The mugger was her boyfriend? That's a long story. Tell me what they stole and how much. According to the- According to the bank records, almost all the jewelry and bags of money. It's as if they knew- Where everything was. Yeah. There's no doubt about it now. Seal was an accomplice. Or the mastermind. Probably the mastermind. Because, of course, I'm going to choose the 50-50 wrong. It's probably mastermind did the whole thing. He came here as Rog's student, seduced Remy, and planned out a robbery with him. And when things cooled down, she called Remy up to meet in the alley where she killed him and made it look like a mugging. Eh? That's... Shouldn't we arrest her then? Unfortunately, we don't have any evidence tying her to it. She used a fake name and was clever enough to hide her identity throughout. But wasn't killing Remy a mistake? We couldn't have made the connection unless he died. Maybe it really was manslaughter and she killed him accidentally, but not in the way we thought. There's also the third person. The second bank robber alongside Remy who robbed the bank. We need to find him too. Eh, let's just hope he's not lying dead in the alley like Remy. By the way, weren't you on your way to Miss Seal's place? How'd you end up at the bank? I had forgotten my pocket pie at the bank when I was searching for Miss Seal's workplace alongside Officer Tira. I, I know that look. Don't hit me again. I'll complain to Human Resources. Go ahead. Another speck of dirt will be added to the mountain, which is my complaint cabinet. By the way, okay, skip that. Okay, nothing from her. Got it. Hey, did you? The hell are you asking? No, I didn't rob any banks. Well, it's just two men robbed the bank a week ago. So you can understand why I... If I had robbed a bank, would I be bitching about fees and a coal? Besides, not only am I a non-violent person, I was holding a special class with two other gu gurus and about a hundred students at this very place on that day. Really? Here? Well, actually, it was the front lawn. I can give you the names and addresses of the other gurus and students if you wish. Yes, I will need them. Write it down for me and I'll send the crazy one to confirm. Uh, can't I say it and you write it down? I don't know how to read and write. What? But you have a ledger. I'll make one of my students write on it. Don't shame me. Even Remy was illiterate. What a surprise. The mugger slash bank robber was illiterate. Forget it. Instead, did Remy come home on the day of the robbery? Yes, he was quite surprised and shocked to see so many people on our front lawn. Maybe because I didn't inform him first. Or maybe he was feeling paranoid because of the robbery and was... Wait... Did he have any... bags? With him? Just would be those with the money symbol on them? Uh, now that you mention it, he was clutching his sack tightly and it seemed heavier than usual as he was bending slightly. He brought some of the loot home. Probably stashed it somewhere. But where? The metal cabinet. Is the stash here? Alright, I'm gonna save. It wasn't. Great, I just wasted time. Remy's bed. Dang. I probably should have saved a lot earlier. Like, before I started losing all of my progress. Ah, dang it. Or my leeway? My leeway. Okay, where else could it be then? The oven? We already checked there. And lost points. I mean, sure, you were looking for a key at the time, but a giant pile of money is pretty obvious. Why do I even think it's in here? Take out. Nobody was, ugh, using this thing. Remy outside and Rog ate raw food. 
no one's using this for weeks. So if anybody ugh, slips some bags inside, ugh, then he can also burn them if someone found <laughs> the stash. Ugh, so much money. It's right under my nose. Damn, I should start cooking my food now. Um, I checked the contents. This is barely 10% of the stolen, total stolen fortune. Can you spend it all? Oh, barely 10%? This massive treasure is only 10%? I think the rest is in somewhere else until the heat dies down. There's so just spare change to get by till then. But isn't this the proof that you were looking for? Maybe there's a solid lead to connect Miss Seal to the robbery. Yes. Now I like to see how she weasels her way out of this mess. I just found Miss Seal dead in her home. What? Miss Seal is dead. Someone came from behind and slashed her throat. There were cops already securing the crime scene when I went. Well, that's one way of weaseling out of this. So this is the Miss Guy that came to your house. Yep, and that's Miss Guy, all right. Please pass on without grudges for the soul needs none. Dear God, Miss Tira, this is what we look like then. I mean, look at Miss Seal. She looks a bit different than usual. That'd be due to heavy blood loss, Burke. The culprit slashed her neck open after all. You two will now be escorted to the station for questioning and statements. Be good, and don't mess it up for Seal's sake. Yes, ma'am. So what the hell happened here? It seems after killing Mugger, Remy, she hid herself somewhere and returned this morning. You see that guy up there? He's the landlord and neighbor. He was cleaning the hallway when Seal came in. There, there. Calm down. It's just so shocking. What the hell did she get herself into? Who's that? Miss Rain, Seal's roommate. She was drinking coffee with the landlord and his wife when they heard a loud noise. They came running and saw the door open and Miss Seal on the floor dead. They also found a note next to her body. Here. Adios. I will shave my beard if you losers manage to catch me now. Ha ha. This is a challenge letter. To us. Not just his beard. I'll shave his skin off his entire body. How hauntingly terrifying. Did those two catch a glimpse of the killer? The culprit had already escaped through the window by the time they reached the door. The landlord's wife had joint pain in her legs. Bill Lay was so shocked by what she saw that she fainted and Rain went to call the cops while he escorted her back to their place. Hmm. Must have been the second bank robber. The one who robbed a bank alongside Remy. He must have heard about Remy dying. So he knew that Seal double-crossed him and decided to kill her to cover his own tracks and claim all the money. Ugh. We were so focused on Miss Seal that we completely forgot to take into account the third robber. Now she's dead and we have no leads as to where the money is or who the third person involved. Well, we haven't looked around yet. The killer left in a hurry, so maybe Seal hid something that might point in the right direction. We can only hope. I'll scavenge the place. There must be something here that either points to the robber or the money. Okay, I'll stay in the search as well, since Polly is managing the roadblocks and Amber's checking out the pawn shops. Good. I accept your beard's challenge. I'll catch you and definitely shave off your beard myself. Alright, save real quick. The spot's related to a clue, but which one? Hmm. She was cutting vegetables when the killer approached her from behind and slashed her neck. She seemed to have ejected a lot of blood on the spot before fumbling to the rack. And there's something about this that's bugging me. This knife has a number 4 embossed on it. This is definitely the same set from which the number 7 knife was used to kill Remy. It's good to finally get confirmation on that theory. Is related to a clue, but which one? Hmm, something I haven't gotten yet. Hmm, they both look stressed. Shouldn't talk to them unless they're about the case.
you know, I thought about being an actor once, but the director kept telling me not to hit people for real during fight scenes. I would pay to see a fight between you and an actual gorilla. My bet will, of course, be on you. Seal's body, which compared to the notes given to me by Chira. Okay, other notes. Jeez. First you mastermind a bank robbery with two guys, then killed one, and then the other one killed you. Live fast, die young. You really were the personification of that saying. Let's see here. Hmm, same as the report. Slash to the neck, which caused several which cut several arteries and resulted in heavy blood loss. There are no signs of struggle on her body. She was taken by surprise and immediately killed off. But it all worth it. Still crashed into this rack while dry, while dry, which made the noise but that brought the Walters and rain to this place. Huh. What's this white stuff that's coming out of the nail's hole? It's a smooth texture and seems water repellent. Uh, da, da, da. White stuff is probably wax. Why is there wax in the nail hole? Let me check. What the? There's money hidden inside. It's a secret cache. Seal must have hidden it here. The amount is less than Remy, so she must have divided it and cash it around the house. I need to check the whole cap house for caches. Maybe we'll point to the location of the main loot. That rematched the set. Hmm. These are the books stand out. Vocal theory. Aha! Only vocal theory is big enough. I found one of the hidden caches in the thick book of vocal theory. I need to save before doing any of this stuff. Ah, crud. Can't act it out. The oil, I guess? Find the dye. Ah, why would two young girls need hair dye? Found one of the king caches in the box of the hair dye. Hmm. Clothes, diary, fake necklace set. I even click on that time. There's this diary. Aha, uh -huh. there's torn pages of the diary. Found one of the hidden caches in the hole in our diary. Hmm. Document folder, matches, and pause, long candle set. Aha, uh -huh. the candle box is half empty. Found one of the hidden caches in the half empty candle box. Found all the hidden caches. The amount is roughly the same as Rummy's. 10%. Okay, not that. So, how goes the case? Still frustratingly convoluted. It's hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, what's the point that's bugging you the most? For starters, what was Seal thinking when she was not cautious of the bearded robber to the point where she turned her back to him, which allowed her to slash her neck. Hmm, maybe she thought he didn't hear anything about Remy's death and acted normal around him to avoid suspicion. Besides, there are no signs of forced entry through the door, so she must have invited him in. When she was facing the kitchen counter, he slashed her neck from behind, hence the squirt of blood on the counter. She fumbled a bit, crashing into the rack, which made the noise and fell down. She probably died within a minute or so. That makes sense a bit. She played the wrong move and failed. Then what was that with that noise left by the killer? That's what's bugging me too. As if she was wanting us to look for him. It would have been easier for him not to leave a note. No, uh, he wants us to look for him. Or specifically, for a bearded man. Are you saying he's put on a mental image of a bearded man for us to look out for while he shaves his beard to avoid our eyes? Seems like it. But don't worry. I'm pretty sure Polly already thought of it as taking care. Yeah. I hope so. This guy is more clever than I thought. 
appear this person is more clever than what we've already seen. Tread carefully. Uh, officer, when can I return to my home? My wife must be a mess down there. Soon. Female officer is with your wife, so don't worry. But first, tell me everything from the beginning. Okay. I was up since last night since my theater group was meeting for practice. This morning I was cleaning the hallway when I saw Seal come home home, which is weird since she's not the kind of person to stay out. She was looking ragged and terrified, so I approached her, but that startled her and she went inside quickly without saying anything. Hmm. She must have been stressed after killing Remy. Did she really kill him accidentally then? I was talking to the missus about what to do when Rain also came and we called her inside to explain the situation. Y yes. Seal's been acting weird since last week and she didn't even have come home that last night by the time I had to leave. Last week. Ever since the robbery. What happened next? I suggested going together after she calmed down to discuss what the problem was. Rain was a bit tired so we offered her coffee. Yes. We were talking for a couple of minutes and it was then that we heard a crash of metal. Seal crushed the rack when she was attacked, which made the utensils fall down and made the noise you all heard. I thought Seal was throwing things out of anger, which he did sometimes. Rain seemed afraid, so my wife and I decided to go together with her to calm Seal down. But when we opened the door... <gasps> Seal! She was... floor. Lifeless. Blood everywhere. Felt as if my legs were about to collapse. My wife fainted due to the shock, which brought our senses back, and Rain went to call the cops while I escorted my wife back. How long did it take for you guys to reach this place after hearing the crash? Um, about a minute or so. Mrs. Walters had a joint pain in her leg, so we walked at a slow pace. But the door was closed when he went inside, so the killer couldn't have escaped through it. So, did he escape through the windows? I'm not sure. It all happened so fast. Mr. Walters told me to get the cops as soon as Mrs. Walters fainted, so I didn't see. I too didn't see anyone. Maybe they ran away while we were approaching slowly through the window. It was open, after all. I see. Anything else that stood out? Um, I'm not sure if it's important, but a guy came by the house a few days ago. He was angry about something. I heard Seal tell him that she would meet him yesterday, and when I asked her about him, she just shrugged me off. Did he look like this? Ah, yes, it was him. He looked angry about something and kept mumbling, He's not a patient man. Hmm. Sounds like they were talking about the bearded robber. I should keep these things in my mind. I think that was all I could find. I should speak with Tira to discuss our next step. Remy recently gained some cash, which he used to pay back the debt and buy new things. He wasn't in the alley to mug Seal, but meet her. Remy had a girlfriend who was a student of Rob's, which is why he had no idea if Remy was dating anyone. Cecil is a student of Rob under a fake name. Sky. She's also Remy's girlfriend. Miss Seal masterminded a robbery at the bank she worked at by seducing Remy and threatening and killing him later. There's another male robber whose identity is unknown. Rog has a solid alibi for the bank robbery as he was busy hosting a class of many people, but told Greg verbally since he was illiterate like, Re like Remy. Greg found some of the money hidden in the rusted oven alongside the masks and the tools used in the robbery. Well, considering that Remy was also illiterate, he probably was not the person who used fancy language during the actual murder scene, so they probably staged that. And then, uh, she just got, got double-crossed here. Seal was killed by the second bank robber and he even issued a challenge to the cops to shave off his beard if he was caught. Landlord Walters was clearing the hallway when he saw Ms. Seal walk in looking all ragged and terrified. He tried to talk to her, but she was ignored and human went inside. Later, Miss Rain came home from her night practice of her theater group and Landlord invited her in to talk about Seal's odd behavior this morning. Five minutes, they heard a loud noise from the other side and went to check together as they thought Seal was throwing things out of anger. They saw Seal dead on the floor next to the fallen utensils. Mrs. Walters fainted due to shock and Rain went to call the cops while Walters escorted his wife back inside. Missing an eye there. Terry's theory suggests that Seal allowed him to enter thinking he was oblivious to Remy's death and he came behind her and slashed her neck. 
Theo's killer came from behind and slashed her neck with a knife. She must have died immediately afterwards since there are no signs of a struggle. The knife set here matches the one found at the crime scene. The knife used to kill Remy belonged to Seal after all. Greg found the cash hidden in an alarm candle set in a hair dye box in Seal's cupboard and in Rain's bookshelf and in a book about vocals. What is it? I'm done looking around. What about you? Ugh, same. No clue about the third person at all. You at the least found some of the money. I have gotten nothing. Hmm. I think that's because the overall crime is scattered in different locations. We need to think of it as one giant crime. Good idea. I'll haul everyone to the station and we can check everyone and everything without having to jump back and forth and... Ugh. I'll be honest. This case is melting my mind. Melting? Yeah. I swear you can make scrambled eggs on my head if you wish and melt thing. What the? Are you having a meltdown yourself? Focus, Dread. Melting. That's it. Eh? Tira. Continue as planned. I'll come after stopping by someplace. If my guess is correct, the whole case will take on a new turn. <clears throat> Teach me. Now, Miss Amber, take a deep breath. Okay. Soothe. Now, slowly and steadily, release it with your inner turmoil mixed into it. <sighs> ah! That's a lot of inner turmoil you have. How do you feel? Hmm. I do feel a little better. That unholy scream about that little? How the hell is this girl not a psycho not a, not a psychotic killer yet? Wonderful. How about joining my class? I'll give you a five percent depression discount. Cash only though. Thanks to Nicole. Damn you, Nicole. Wait, who's Nicole? You accept cooking novels as payment. Uh pardon me, but can when can we leave? I need to turn to my wife. Not until we get everyone's statement and reorganize the events collect the evidence collected. Everyone's statement has been written down. Rain just finished hers. S sorry it took so long. I haven't slept since yesterday. Then let's get this over with. I'll start by writing all the evidence we collected on the blackboard and... Where in the hell is the blackboard? Oh, I had it removed. You? Why? To make room for this work of art that I bought. I wish to hang it here for everyone to see. This... Isn't this a plaque from a bar that says, Alcohol kills? Drink responsibly? Do you mind holding this while I secure it in place? Okay... How's the... Wait, why am I helping with this? Why are you doing this, Dreg? Trust me. You better be going somewhere with this. I am. Now, I already have a hole. What should I use to put inside the hole that I can hang this plaque from? Ah, dang, I thought you were going somewhere with that. Ah. These long candles I found at Cecil's, Seal's house will do the trick. I'll also light it up just in case. There. Now it's set. That's it? Why you... Just give it a couple minutes. Meanwhile, why don't we discuss the case? Oh, I get it now. Because, uh... The, uh... Utensils were held up by a candle, set on fire, and then the murderer left was whoever this person is. Who talked to the people and then they heard a clatter giving her an alibi. Got it. Eh? Let's start with the bank robbery. As we all know by now, the bank seal worked in was robbed by two rob- mm, three robbers. Oh, fine. There were two robbers. They wore overalls and masks so that it was hard to distinguish their body features. They held Seal hostage and made her empty all the lockers and ran off with the money, leaving Seal behind. Now the current theory is that Seal masterminded the whole thing by seducing Remy and getting a third. 
play. Deer, animal, woman, what? A third bearded person. Oh, okay, that's what it is. That's uh, that was a weird sentence. And a third bearded person is still at large. However, there's a prickling sensation in my brain for quite some time now. That, that's probably the alcohol taking toll on your mind. You might want to go to the emergency room. Possibly. But I was talking about the case. Some facts of the case don't add up. Really? Like what? For starters, I would rubbing they illiticate when he was clearly illiterate. According to Raw, he and Remy are illiterate, so how do you know such a complicated word? Illi what? Illudicate. It means to clarify something. As in, didn't I make it clear not to scream? Yes, that's the first itch on my mind. The second is the way Seal acted. Remy did say that she had been acting weird all week. Yes, she's been she's being aggressive and asked to be left alone a lot. Maybe she lost her mind as well since she killed Remy. Eh. She took alleyways on her way home. What woman in the right mind would do that unless she was hiding from someone? Eh? So it wasn't because she was madly in love with me but too shy to say it? When was the last time you looked in a mirror? He didn't want anyone to spot her, which is odd if you think about it. So I get to thinking, why was she hiding? And guess what I found? Evidently, Seal was supposed to be on one week of vacation. Why? Eh? <clears throat> so I started go to work every morning. Me too. Seal usually left after I came home. That routine didn't change even after the robbery. She wrote that she was so traumatized that she can't even leave her house, which is why she was hiding it from everyone. But why? And where was she going? I didn't know myself, until another contradicting fact came before me. Contradicting fact? It has something to do with both Remy's and Seal's dead body. And the only person who can tell me about it is... Rain. Eh? Me? There was something on Remy's body that bothered me. More specifically, his fingers. There was blood on his fingers. He scratched Seal where he stabbed him. I see. So... But this little piece of evidence contradicts with the supposed struggle. You see, according to the report, Seal died without having a chance to struggle. Yeah, she was attacked from behind, right? Yes, so he Seal doesn't have any wounds or scratches on her body. Ah! Uh, now that... Remy really did scratch someone who wasn't Seal, but... There are scratch marks on her hands. Damn. No, you got it all wrong. You know where I'm returning from? Your night theater. Turns out you did not actually come to practice last night. Yeah, that's... I was... The director told me that Seal came instead. He was there with a letter from you instructing me to store the props in a warehouse in your name. Guess why I found them all in the pops when I went to check. Yeah, shit. I mean, I don't know what you're talking... I do? Please tell me if I'm attacking the robbery. Of course. Miss Rain here was the third bank robber all along. And also the killer both Remy and Seal. What? That's absurd. I was going to use vultures the whole time Seal was killed. That's true. But I didn't see her last night. On this seal holding the knife, and she also hid some money to kill the mother accidentally. Everything makes sense if you take one factor of Miss Rain into consideration. Miss Rain is an actor. She was playing the role of Seal, aka disguising herself as Seal. What? What? No way! I have my makeup kit with me. Let me try and make her look like Seal. Don't touch me! Hey man, come on. I know that skills aren't bad. Let me give you a makeover. Great. Well, she does that. Why don't I tell you what actually happened since last night? Ugh. 
The brain droplets are covering my glasses too much to see where I'm going. Where's my napkin? Let's see. Don't look back. Eh? Drop the person out your pockets quietly without turning back and you know what's good for you. Uh, okay. Just don't hurt me. As long as you'll follow my instructions, no one will get hurt. Now, I wonder which one of the two was here. There. See? My purse is empty. I'm too paranoid, Remy. Hmm. Sorry. Forces have it seal. Aw, oh, don't worry, baby. No one suspects a thing. Now, did you keep the money where I told you to? Yes. It wasn't easy, but I meant to replace it with the prop money of your theater group. Wonderful. In that case... <laughs> you should have given me a body check, baby. The lady has many hiding faces. Hold on. Don't beg her if heard him scream. Normally, yes. But there was one factor that made it impossible. Really? You're going to use a typo as the... whatever. It was raining very hard last night. The noise probably muffled the screams. You bitch! Ugh. Ugh. Get off of me. That was the moment Rain's hands were stretched by Remy. He gave us the key to catch you in his last gasp. Ugh. Remy was dead. He also died thinking it was Seal who killed him. Now it's time to set the stage. He had to make it look like a mug and got home. Now, wait a second. My memory might not be good. I know I heard a guy's voice threatening Seal. Or uh, this girl. There are two factors that came through the situation as Rain wanted it. First, it was the rain. And that's that. Alright. Well, good thing I saved. A few times. Wait, did I save? I did not. Dang it, I did not save at all that whole time. Fine, I'll just hold the skip button this whole time and talk for like two minutes while I wait for all the cutscenes to play. Was there even an opportunity to save at any point? I don't think there was. Candle. Skip. Two robbers. Beard. That was a very uh, confusing thing. Skip. Gotta remember what all the answers are, and that is a terrible ordeal. So, almost back to where it was. I should get a glass of water. But then I wouldn't be able to hold down the skip button this whole time. Ugh, weather, weather. Considering how many typos there are in the general medieval cop series. Time was the only one I did not choose. Remember, there was a 10 minute gap between you seeing Rain and actually hearing her scream. Okay, nope, cannot save. Yeah, help me! Eh, that sounded like. The second factor relied on something I found at her place. There was a thick book in Rain's bookshelf, a book on vocal theory. He mimicked his voice, didn't he? Quit struggling, you bitch. Didn't I eludicate you to stay quiet? Eludicate? An illiterate Remy would never say these words. You're a professional actor with a bookshelf that big, Mike. The beauty of it was Brick had never heard Remy's voice before, so it didn't have to be perfect. The seal is in trouble. Hold on. I'm coming to save you. And when Brick came roaming. <sighs> hey, let go of. Huh? <laughs> I... 
truly a realistic performance by a dedicated actor. I am genuinely impressed. However, I was more impressed by what followed. Impressed and disgusted. Phew, I wonder when Ren will return. I know she has night practice, but still, it's not safe for a woman to be out this late. Huh? Seal? What's wrong? You look horrible. Eh? Is that Uncle Walters? Is he calling for me? Let me finish up here. If I remember correctly, you ignored him and went inside since he knew the real Seal's voice and it would have created doubt. Huh? Rain, is that you? I'm a bit busy in the kitchen. Did Uncle Walters need something? Yeah, he was just reminding me to tell you to bring that medicine you spoke of on your way back from the bank. Oh, okay. I'm still a bit terrified to go back to work after what happened, but I'll be a brave girl. I know. You're my strong little angel. You don't have to feel fear anymore. <laughs> now you're embarrassing me. Seal. Yes? Sorry. Good. Good. <laughs> it was me, Seal. I was the robber that held you hostage. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Seal died. Not knowing that she was being hunted for a robbery and murder she did she did not commit. However, we were still looking for the second bank robber. She created one for us. The challenge that way. Note. He planted a fake challenge letter about a bearded guy, so we automatically assume it to be a guy. And since both bank robbers were assumed to be male, it made the illusion thicker. Another vocal trick by the great actor Rain. No, hold on. Rain knows with us all the murder occurred, so she couldn't have Hmm. Has it been about five minutes now? Eh? Get off of me already! Shut up and stay still. You'll ruin the makeup. Hey, Greg, why are you asking about the... What the? That freaking scared me. And that's the last part of the puzzle. Isn't that right? D damn it. Miss Ray, a.k.a. Bank Robber Fake Seal. Ah, that's the Miss Seal I know. Except the hair is different. Yeah. The blue hair dye I found was for that purpose. So the body doesn't didn't look slightly different due to blood loss because she was a different, completely different person. Eh? I still don't understand. How could she be in two places at once? The little trick I showed you is related to that. You see, what I created with the candle and plaque was a timer. It was a simple timer. When the candle burned to the point where it couldn't support the plaque anymore, it fell. A similar trick was done to the rack. She set it up to fall after a couple of minutes. Then she changed back to rain, escaped to the window, and came back from the front pretending as if it, she'd just returned. And after a couple of minutes... Huh? What was that sound? Came from your place, Rain. Oh no. It's sealed throwing a fit again out of anger. I didn't check on her, but... but... Don't worry, dear. He'll come with you. Husband, let's go. Ugh. So, Rain, you're pretty much screwed at this point. Why don't you admit everything and save us some trouble? Uh, I... Not another word. You don't have to say anything, Miss Rain. You have rights. They can't force a confession out of you. Eh? They can't? What the... Who the hell are you? Trevor Fields, attorney, here for Miss Rain. Eh? I didn't order any lawyer. You don't have to. New law. Every suspect taken into custody has a right to a lawyer. What are you talking about? It was passed this morning. You can't interrogate a suspect without their lawyer present. Also, a jury system has been, has been created. Jury? The hell is that? A couple of random citizens will be selected to be part of a case whose vote can determine if a person is guilty or not. Random citizens? That's absurd. It might work in a perfect world, but real people have different opinions. They can be emotionally manipulated if they don't have the experience to detect lies. 
Not a huge chance of false judgment. You must be Dreg Morris. Said you'd catch on quick. I have a note from him for you. A note? From who? Here, just read it. Dear Dreg, how are you? Today I learned that creating a lawyer is not evil enough for this world. So I created the jury system now. Good luck trying to make your case in front of people with your withered, grumpy face. Yours truly, Lucifer Morningstar. So, Officer Drag, how about we go through everything again? But with proper evidence and a lawyer present. Well played, asshole. Truly well played. Truly, it is the work of the devil. A Night to Remember. End. Next episode, episode 7, Flawed Justice. Suddenly, it's a court game instead.